Hello all and welcome to the next unboxing for a WWE Mattel figure. Today we're going to be looking at the Amazon exclusive uh, Ultimate Edition Rock. Um, as soon as I saw this, I had to get it. was kind of upset it was an Amazon exclusive, but um, either way, had to get it. The Rock is my favorite wrestler of all time, so I knew as soon as this was announced I was getting it. Uh, I kind of went through some trouble getting them too. Um, when I ordered him off Amazon, they sent me a Charlotte Flair, which was really interesting because she's a ringside exclusive, but I got her from Amazon. Sent it back. Eventually they sent me the right one, so good. And I eventually got the Charlotte from ringside, um, like a couple months later. But, uh, yeah, really excited for this. There he is on the side. We got him in here. Um, there's that. There's the back. If you want to kind of look at it, there you go. Um, yeah, I like this. It's um, We've seen them try to release a similar figure to this one before. Not so much as an Ultimate Edition or anything, but uh, that era of the rock, that kind of late 98 rock. Because uh, that's basically what this kind of is representing, is that um, initial face turn and then uh, heel turn that happened a few months later at the Survivor Series. Um, so that's kind of what you're getting here is you're getting like a late 98, um, as well as kind of a, a 99 and early 2000 rock, if you really want to kind of look at it that way. Um, so yeah, I, I like this. Um, so excited to get into it. Uh, really excited to get into it. I have a feeling, uh, I'm gonna have a lot of praise for this figure. So here we go again on ultimate editions. Uh, pre-cut the tape on the back and it makes it so much easier to open. Um, oh, we got a loose hand. Um, right there on the bottom. Most electrifying man in sports entertainment. Up on top, uh, it's the... Uh, hold on, let me go ahead and take him out so I can flip this over. Uh, on the top of the box here, when you open it, it's the It Doesn't Matter What Your Name Is. Classic. Um... Rock might be the greatest catchphrase artist in the history of wrestling as well. Um, so, I guess right off the bat we'll just get into the hands since that one's already popped out. Um, so he comes pre-packaged with the open hand microphone holding hands. We have closed fisted hands, obviously. We then have the open palm hands. And probably one of the best things about this figure, we have the just bring it hands. Um, now I know at this time, I don't think he was really doing the just bring it thing, but you can use these on a different rock from a different time period where he started doing that and it'd be perfect. So cool regardless. Um, He has a microphone. I know they're not allowed to use the WWF logo, but it would be cool if it was actually a WWF logo microphone, but still cool nonetheless. He's got to come with a microphone. He's the rock. Um, we have his glasses. Awesome. We have alternate heads. We have the yelling head. If you want to put him in a submission and have him yelling and cringing, there you go. If you want to do that, if you smell and turn the head sideways, there you go. We kind of have just a regular... Um, expression face, just expressionless face, I guess you could say. Um, I'll get more into these head sculpts in a minute because I think that's what makes this the best rock ever are these head sculpts. Um, and then of course we have the Attitude Era, um, that came out. What the... As I was pulling it out, it came out. I'm going to have to go back and fix that. But there we go. The back of it kind of came out as I was pulling it out. I'm going to have to go back and push that in. But there's a belt. Um, this and the Winged Eagle are probably my favorite WWE Championship designs. It's just, this is pretty much like the... One of the symbols of the Attitude Era is this belt. So awesome that we get that. Um, and now for our main event of the evening. Uh... 
no plastic ties. There we go, the rock. Um, I'm get them straightened out here. I'm super excited for this. And there we go. Okay. Uh, his ankle joints are a little tight, but beyond that, it's pretty good. And there he is. Uh, he comes with the eyebrow raised, the raised eyebrow head, which is awesome. I don't think uh, we've had a rock like that in a while. Um, so really cool to see that. Um, there we have uh, one of his early shirts, the Brahma Bull shirt. Um, I'm going to take off his shirt here. Um, no bleed through, great. And there we go. Good body type form, fits. Yeah. Um, sorry, I'm a little speechless again here. Um, so. There we have our late 98 rock. He's got the sideburns, the classic Brahma Bull tattoo. There's the rock, the old version of the way his name was spelled out on his trunks. And then we got the classic bull on the back. Um, like I said, this is kind of that red and silver from the Survivor Series, I believe. Uh, he wore this a lot, the red and silver. Um, so kind of, it's not just that event. You could use it for a lot of other things. Um... But yeah, he's got the elbow pads. Um, I am a little uh, disappointed in one aspect of this. Um, it would have been cool if the back of his elbow pads had the bull logo. Um, that would have been cool because he wore those uh, like elbow pads they sold uh, to fans at events and stuff. Um, and they had a bull logo on the back, so that would have been cool to have. Um, last we don't, so that's kind of my one nitpick about this toy. Um, he's got the torso joint of the Ultimates. It's good. Waist joint's good. His legs are good. Um, the only other minor complaint I kind of see is on the back. The Rock always had the op uh, open calf, um, boots. This one, this one's strap is a little bit lower. It's not a big issue unless you're really looking at it. Um, so luckily, can't really tell. But yeah, uh, that's just a minor probably quality control thing. Um, and it pushes up a little bit so you can kind of get it to not look as drastic. Um, the only issues I'm having anything joint wise is his ankle joints are a little stiff. Um, this, uh, so I have a loose kind of toe joint, like it's, it goes up, but it doesn't come down. This one's like really loose and it goes down too. So that's kind of weird. Um, not a big issue, but, um, there we go. There is our ultimate edition rock. Um, I think what makes this so much better is these head sculpts. Um, I think, uh, I think we've seen this head sculpt before on a basic that came out a while back. So I'm glad they brought it back, but I think these are the best head sculpts we've ever had for a rock. I mean, I really do. Um, uh, just kind of giving an example here. Yeah, I think it is. Um, it just, it fits. It's of that era. This is kind of um, like 98, 99, 2000 prime rock, in my opinion. Uh, so really glad to finally have one. Um, he's a little wonky with uh, some of the joints, but just in terms of looks and everything... Um, I mean, this might be a little bit of an interesting statement. I think th uh, for me personally, it is between this guy and the Eddie Guerrero from the Target exclusive set for figure of the year for WWE, at least. I really believe that. Um, he just looks so solid and everything. Um, the head sculpts are the best I think we've ever had. 
I love the classic detailing on his trunks. Like I said, they've tried to do this kind of rock before, but the head sculpts have never been good. And now we finally have one that is just excellent, and I like it. Um, so glad to finally have one. Um, again, just, I don't know if there's anything you can really... My, all my negatives are just like little uh, QC, uh, QC issues that are just kind of weird, like the strap right here being a little back and a little bit loose toe joint here. Um, but beyond that, like, there's nothing to really complain about this figure. Um, I'm sure he holds the microphone well enough. Oh, maybe not that hand. Maybe this hand. Let's try this. One. There we go. There you go. He holds the microphone well enough. Um, kind of tight to get in there. Probably going to have to, like, stretch that out a little bit. Um, of course, we have the belt. Let's see if the glasses go on. That's going to be an important thing here. Um, they do. They sit pretty well on his head. Um, try to get that one up over the ear a little bit here. There you go. Yeah. Awesome. It works. It looks good. They actually work. Sometimes when you get these glasses, they just do not fit with who they're um, supposed to be and everything. But, uh... Microphone's got a lot of bend to it, so that's good. Um, yeah, no real complaints uh, that I can see, other than just, like, the little minor things that I'm kind of noticing. But, I mean, beyond that, like I said, I think it's between this and the Eddie Guerrero. Because the Eddie Guerrero head scan was, or head sculpt was spot on, too. Um, and this one is, all three of them are. Um, so, I guess if I, if... If it's down to those two for best WWE figure of the year, I'm not going to lie. I'm probably going to give it to this one um, only because it's an ultimate and he's got more posability and he comes with a lot more things than what the Eddie Guerrero did. So just overall, it kind of comes out a lot better. Um, but yeah, I am, I'm super happy with it. I love it. He's like I said, he's my, was my favorite wrestler as a kid to this day. I still think he's like the best ever. Um, his shirt's great. Uh, I probably won't really use the shirt a lot. Um, we're getting another Ultimate Edition Rock, um, later this year, I believe, uh, 2021. And, uh, uh, we're also getting another Elite Rock in a two-pack with Mankind, McFoley. So, a lot of rocks coming out soon, um, which is cool. Uh, I'd be interested to see what we get. I hope the one with the McFoley... Uh, is him in the tracksuit from the Royal Rumble match. That'd be cool. Uh, especially if you could, like, take it off. That'd be really cool. Um, and then the other Elite, I'm not sure what that is. I know there's a lot of people hoping it's, like, his 01, 02, like, before he left Rock. Um, uh, it could be any Rock. Like, a lot of the Rocks that came out didn't have, like, very good head sculpts. Now that they're getting good Rock head sculpts, you could redo any Rock, and it would probably work. If you want to do... 0102 rock i think that'd be cool uh with like the updated design on his name and his trunks uh if you wanted to do modern rock with the big uh his tattoos and everything i think that could work um hollywood rock would be awesome i don't th i think we've only ever gotten one mattel representation of like hollywood rock i'd love to see hollywood rock with like the pants and the vest and the guitar and everything that'd be really cool um so yeah, a lot of different options for him. Um, even though The Rock always kind of was just trunks and boots kind of guy, uh, it's like his hair, his tattoos and everything are kind of what really evolved. So you can really do a lot with him when you think about it. Um, but yeah, I'd probably give this my my WWE slash wrestling figure of the year award. I really would. Just because uh, it's close between that and the Eddie Guerrero. But um, I'd give it to this one just because he comes with so much more and everything. So... Uh, yeah, really happy with it. Glad I got it. Um, glad I got my problem with the Amazon fix to get a good one. And so, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video.